Another really nice feature on the SI consoles is the Graphic EQ. Now the Graphic EQ is modelled on a BSS FCS 960, which is an industry standard Graphic EQ, and you have a modelled version of that in the SI console. So in order to put a Graphic EQ onto any of the 35 buses, I have to select the Graphic EQ button. Now this button is only available in the first three of the output modes. So it's the Graphic EQ for buses 1 to 12, 13 to 24, all of the matrix outputs, all of the left, right, center buses, but obviously it's not active in VCA mode. So I'm going to select buses 1 to 12. I'm going to select the mix for the keyboard player on stage. Then I'm going to select the graphic EQ button. And now you can see that the last 15 faders in this input section have turned red, meaning that they're in graphic EQ mode. The way the graphic EQ works is quite simple. These 15 bands are set around the low mid and high mid area, which is the area where you're going to be doing most of your EQ. The OLED display over here shows you the amount of boost or cut and the frequency at which you're working. So in order to make adjustments on the graphic EQ, I just decide which frequencies I want to work at and simply just move the faders up or down depending on what I want to do. You'll notice that the on buttons immediately come on the moment I move away from the electronically detented center position. To return things to zero, I simply just switch off the on buttons and everything returns to the zero position. So there you have it, 35 30 band graphic EQs. That's a graphic EQ for every single output on the console. All of your matrix outputs, all of your bus outputs, and your main left, right, and center outputs all have a dedicated 30 band BSS graphic EQ. That's one of the most fantastic features of this console.